Hello and welcome to the Bakes Online. My name is Sam. Tonight we have a very special treat. We have got a baking workshop. Now don't worry if you haven't got the ingredients. This is not live so you can watch this at any other time. You can maybe do the baking another day. But if you have got the ingredients and you're ready to go, I'm going to hand over to Hannah and Penny and they're going to take us through the baking workshop. Remember if you need to pause the video at any point to catch up, you can do. Have a great time. Let's get our aprons on. Let's have our baking workshop. Hi everyone at the base. We're going to make cupcakes today. Uh, so, first things first, we haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Hannah and this is... Penny, hello. Penny. So Penny, first things first, we're going to put some cupcake cases into the tray. Uh, you need to ask a grown-up to put the oven on to about 180. Okay. So while Penny's doing that, I'm going to start weighing out some ingredients. So we're going to base this sponge recipe on three eggs. So basically, however many eggs you have in your house, you can always bake a cake because uh, I still work in ounces because I got this recipe off my nanny. Um, but you can work in grams as well. So for every egg, you need two ounces um, of butter, sugar and flour. Uh, but an ounce is 25 grams, so for every egg, 50 grams, if that makes sense. So we're going to use three eggs. So we're going to do six ounces of butter. You can use any butter. Lots of recipes say to use like unsalted or salted, but I get cheap butter. Margarine is good as well. Come on, um, come on. Is that tricky? Yeah. It's okay. It doesn't need to be neat. Okay. That's the best thing about baking. There's nothing needs to be neat. You just throw it all in, really. Okay. Now, if you haven't got scales. If you want to work off three eggs, that is about a cup of butter, okay? You do want to try and be a little bit accurate with baking, but not everyone has scales. So if you use a small cup, that will be fine. Okay, so we're going to put butter, and then we're going to do exactly the same with sugar. Caster sugar is great, but granulated is fine as well, even some of the golden sugars as well, because I know what it's like at the moment. It's really hard to get ingredients in some of the shops, isn't it? So, so how are you getting on, Penny? Good. Good. Right. We've got one of these mixers, but not everyone has those. I didn't have one for a very long time. I had to save up all my pocket money to get one of these. And we're being good. And we're making sure Felicity doesn't know why we're doing this. <laughs> Her little sister's not here at the moment because she was being a bit funny, wasn't she? So, so you can put it in the mixer and whisk it, but you can just do it with a wooden spoon, just one like this in a big bowl, and mix it. And you want to make sure the mix sugar... Mix it, make sure so it, can, so it gets together. Yeah. So the sugar and butter is... The, the fancy word is cream. So I'm going to try and do this quite fast because you might not be able to hear me talking otherwise. And I love you, everyone! <laughs> And Amber. And Amber, your brother. I call and um, I call Sam Nanny from Pat. Oh no, let's not talk about those. No. Right. So while that is mixing slowly, what was the first thing we had to do before we started baking, Penny? Um, we wash our hands. Very, very important to wash your hands, especially if you're making cake for other people because you don't have to eat all these cakes we could take them to some people couldn't we it'd be really nice to deliver some cakes to maybe your neighbours or your nan or your granddad right now the next bit if penny just wants to stop for a second is your favorite bit the eggs do you want to break the eggs let me just let me just do these two ones two ones one, left one and, and two so while Penny's just getting that last one in, I'll show you the you can see. I don't know whether you can see that, of the butter and the sugar. Okay. Oh, one second. There we go. Okay, so you want to do the eggs, Penny? Yes. Let's put that to one side. Where? So we're going to break them into a separate bowl because then if we do get any shell in there, we can take it out. Now, Penny's been practicing this loads, haven't you? So try and hold on to the bowl with one hand, and then big bang, and then slowly pull apart. Brilliant! No shell? Fantastic. Okay? So, next 
next one. Well, let's put... That's it. Good girl. I'll get you another one out. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, so we've got a little bit of shell in that one, which is fine. So I'm just going to fish that out. It's quite easy to get out. And if you do miss a bit, it adds a little crunch. No one will know. Maybe you can give that one to your brother or sister. Don't tell them. Okay, we've got that bit out. That's good. Right, and the last one. I have a cloth. There's number three, yeah. There's number three. Oh, big, big bang. That's it. Very gently. Thank you. Fantastic assistant I have here. A little bit Brilliant. Ball. That's great. Oh, got a bit of shell. That's all right. So I'm going to pick that up now. Can I wash you? You can. Here, yeah, I'll just wipe it on there. You can just put that straight in the mixer and turn the mixer on. But if you want to get it even more light and fluffy. Even more light and more then. Then, and when you make it more lighter with a whisk, um, it goes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a bit excited. We're right. getting it, it gets more excited. Yeah, it gets more fluffy, doesn't it? So, do you want to yeah. whisk this up? Yeah. Okay. That's it. So, when you do this, it gets loads of air into the sponge, it makes it really light and fluffy, doesn't it? Okay, but you can just throw it all in, mix it together. This is why I like this recipe because you can't and, really go and wrong. We're gonna make chocolate chip cakes and raisin cakes. Mm, my favourite. Actually, let's just make chocolate chips. <laughs> well, you can put anything in there, can't you? Really, whatever yes. you like. So, Mummy's just gonna have a little go and do it really, really fast. Some people on the telly can do this really fast. But I'm not too good. And are we going to... Right. Now, if you're going to pour this into the mixer, but quite slowly, okay? So I'm going to turn it on quite fast. And Penny's just going to pour it in a little bit at a time. Okay, let me... All right. Mix it down. And while that's mixing, can you just sort out your cut tape tray? Because that's starting to fly off. So while that's mixing, I'm just going to measure out six ounces of flour. If you want to pour another little bit in, be really careful, make sure it goes in the bowl. That's it, and back again. And then can you keep watching that for me? Make sure it's mixing really well. Now, if you can't get hold of self-raising flour, because again, I know it's quite hard to get hold of at the moment, you can use plain flour, but then you need something else. You need something called baking powder. And I put about a big teaspoon in with it, okay, because I know We've been getting our self-raising flour. How sugar and One second. From our local shop, rather than the supermarket, because they seem to have a bit more. So I'm just going to stop this a second. And I'll can you going to put the sugar in? Oh, not yet. We've done the sugar. This is flour. A flour. We're I'm just getting, let me just show the camera. Sometimes it sticks to the edge. So I'm just going to get all the bits off the edge, okay? Right. So we're going to give that one. <laughs> that is why baking sponge gets messy. Now we need a sieve. Okay. Okay. I'll need to hold that. I'm going to pour it. We're not going to pour. We're going to use. Boom. Nice. Right. So, as you can see, Penny's very excited. She can barely contain herself. Right, so now we don't need this anymore because we've got lots of air in there. So now we're going to put the flour in. Now, it's really important. You don't want to lose all the air that you've just whisked in. So, we're going to sieve the flour. If you don't have a sieve, doesn't matter. I've done it without a sieve before. But it means you just want to be a little bit more gentle when you stir it so you don't knock all the air out. So Penny's going to put the flour in here. Okay. Just okay. shake it. And then we shake, 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 shake. And it's really easy. Okay, do you want to put some more in? Doing a good job. I find this job very satisfying because it goes through so lovely. Looks a little bit like snow. Like snowy water, like when it when 
when you're cold, you get um, you get you get you get like an ice cold like this. Yeah. Now while I'm doing this, do you want to tell everyone what you've been missing from church? What have you been missing? Have you been missing your friends? Yeah, and my um and my best friends. Best friends, yeah. Me too. And I miss hugging people. Can Good I job I can hug you. Right, we're going to mix this now. You're going to mix it. Now, there is a fancy word called folding, where you kind of stir it round and then fold it over to try and keep the air in. But sometimes it's too exciting to do that, so you just stir it. So as long as all the flour's mixed in, it's going to be fine. And this is the point where if you want to add chocolate chips or raisins, you just throw them in. You can make your sponge different colours. You can put any kind of food colouring into it, or even if you want to put fresh fruit into it, like strawberries. And like blueberries and shop and bananas. Yeah, banana, great. And apples. Yeah, any kind of fruit is fine as well, but not too much because otherwise it goes too wet and it means your cooking time may vary. Bananas are great though, especially the ones that are all black and horrible because they are have more flavour, so they're actually perfect for this type of sponge. So you just throw some in and that's great. So Penny's doing a great job there. It is almost ready for the tray. So do you want to bring the tray over? Here it is. Look everyone, look at the tray. And so, we should have two little ones. We had them um, like... Yeah, we've got a bit of a mixture there, haven't we? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven here. but you want to try and get it in the cases so we're not going to use that big spoon oh. we're going to use a little spoon maybe another little spoon that's all right hold on our assistant's just going to get us another little spoon penny okay i'm just gonna let that melt okay why's our assistant daddy <laughs> <laughs> he's a good assistant isn't he so what we can do is I would use this one and a little one. So let me show you, and then you can do the rest, all right? So get about this much mixture out, and then with the little spoon, you just scrape it in. Okay, right, and that's great. And remember, it's, it's gonna rise loads in the oven. So you don't, you probably need to half fill it, but if you want ginormous cupcakes, then you can do big ones too, it doesn't matter. You wanna try and get them all the same, same-ish size, so that they all bake nice and evenly. They look great, don't they? Yeah. So these are going to go in the oven only for about 12 minutes, but the way to see if they've cooked or not is obviously to ask a grown-up. You just put a knife into the sponge, and when you pull the knife out, if it comes out nice and clean, it's ready. If it's still a bit wet and got moisture on there, or cake mixture, then it probably needs a few more minutes, but they don't take long at all, which is why they're great. And then we're not going to ice them with you today because icing is, everyone likes different icing. You can either make butter icing, you can put melted chocolate on it, you could just put some icing sugar on there, you could put some fresh cream on there. That's why cakes are really great. You can just make them however you like them. What type of icing do you like, Penny? I like, um Blue and pink mixed together to make purple. Oh, that's a great idea. We've got blue and pink food colouring, haven't we? Yeah. All right. That's fantastic. I just made some big, some small. So I really hope you've enjoyed your cook along today. Oh. We'd really, really love to see some photos of your finished result. We're going to send some through of ours as well, aren't we, Penny? Mm -hmm. I think we're going to put some fresh cream and strawberries on ours. Uh, because we've got some strawberries going in the garden at the moment, so that will be nice. So, oh, my shine. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you all next time. Bye. Right, so just a quick video to check if these are cooked or not. They look pretty good. They've risen nice, nicely, so you just put the knife in and then pull it out. And if it comes out nice and clear, then they're ready to go. 
looking good. So me and Penny are going to put some lemon drizzle on top of these, so that's nice and easy. It's just lemon juice and sugar, and you can put them on warm as well, and then it goes nice and crunchy. So I hope yours are good. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us for the base online. Weren't Hannah and Penny fantastic? I hope your cupcakes or cakes have turned out really well. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join us on Fridays at 6.30 for the base online. We'll see you soon. Bye.